Bestiality references allegedly made during presentation at Renmark High School. Wow. So I've got an article for you today. This uh, popped up a couple weeks ago, but I saw it on Bearings Channel. I thought I would uh, cover it as well because maybe some of you don't watch Bearing, but it's just it's just this insanity that we see in the world that bring up. I don't know if this is necessarily a woke situation, although I'm going to say that it is, but you know, I, those of you haters out there are going to be like, oh, when you're a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Well, they're equating some of this this deviant behavior with the LGBHCTV crew, which we know is definitely part of the woke agenda. And before we get started, I want to thank everybody for stopping by. I do really appreciate you guys supporting my channel. All those of you who do subscribe to me and um, who watch my videos on a regular basis. Please leave a comment down below. Click that like button. It doesn't take very long. You can find me on over on Rumble, Twitter, X, as it is now, right? Bit shooting Odyssey. Let's see here what it says. In short, year nine girls at Renmark High School say they were given a presentation on respectful relationships that include references to bestiality. Yeah, okay. The ABC understands a teacher was not present for the presentation, which was delivered by a third party facilitated by Headspace Barry. What's next? The education department and the school say the matter is being investigated. So this actually is one for my Australian fans, in case that wasn't clear. But we can learn something from this, I'm sure, no matter where you are in the world. Just be careful putting your kids in. <laughs> I love the meme. The, I, maybe I can find it. The meme is like, you're homeschooling your kid. Aren't you afraid they're going to turn out to be weird? It's like, yeah, you're putting your kid in public schools and they dyed their hair pink, shaved off one half of their hair. And they insist they have whatever weird pronouns and they think that they need to be transitioned. You worried about my kid being weird? The South Australian Department of Education is investigating a presentation delivered to year nine girls in a regional high school that allegedly referenced bestiality as being accepted by the LGBTQIA plus community. So I told you how to tie in with LGBTQ. Female students said teachers at Renmark High School told them to leave their lessons and attend a presentation in a separate classroom. Students who attended the presentation on March 22nd say two staff from the Headspace Center in the neighboring town of Barrie introduced a third-party presenter who facilitated an hour-long presentation focused on relationships. Parents said they were not notified about the presentation, nor was it consented to. They got to get the information out there, and you know that they're not going to present it to the teachers before they do it because the teachers are going to veto it. That's just how it works. Students said they were left unsupervised for the duration of the presentation. Student Courtney White, 14, said she felt confused and blindsided by the presentation. Okay, well, I mean, at 14, I would think you would know what bestiality is. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not Australian, so maybe they don't get this sort of information to them as early as uh, we, did here, we do here in the United States. We had a teacher that told us to grab a chair and sit in front of the board, and then the headspace people came in and then the teacher left so then we're sitting in front of a board alone with no teachers just the headspace people she said the first slide of the powerpoint on the board was you can see clearly now and no point hiding who are these people they don't look very happy nikki gaylard has unenrolled three of her children from renmark high school including courtney white yeah that's what you do i mean why would you leave your kids in that situation Girls felt really uncomfortable. Yeah, I, I, I would think that you would. I mean, I was really uncomfortable when I had sex ed. I was younger than 14, but still it was, I mean, it was presented in a very kid-friendly, you know, safe way with teachers. The teachers, were, we had parents there to make sure everything was above board. And the presenters were like, this is what they did. This is like their whole thing was we, this is what we do. We, we deal with sex ed, period, at all ages, sex ed. It was, uh, it was still uncomfortable because you're learning about weird stuff. You know, you weren't learning about weird Things that you're, you know, oh, my body does that. Oh, okay. Oh, that's weird. That's interesting. Okay. So 14 year old Amelia Wondenberg, that's a name, said the presenter was graphic when referencing their own sexual preferences and spoke in sexually explicit terms about growing up and being confused about whether they idolized people of the same gender or wanted to be intimate with them. Students say they were then given an explanation of the initialism LGBTQIA+, with each word and its meaning displayed on screen. There was a slide for what the plus means, and they said, and they just started randomly saying words that no one knew, like bestiality, Amelia said. Well, the plus actually stands for stupidity. We've covered this. 
in a, a video I did last week. It was on the board when they were showing what the plus means. The student said bestiality was then explained in detail and the presenter seemed to imply it was something practiced by people who identify as LGBTQIA+. Really? I thought there was no slippery slope here. I thought there was any kind of, there's no slippery slope. We just want to be recognized. There's no slippery slope. We just want to have the same rights as you, you know? And now it's down to, yeah, you have to have intercourse with animals, which is immoral. So they said the queer community just accepts all of it, even though isn't it illegal? Amelia said, yeah, it, it is illegal in the United States too. So <laughs> don't think this is just an Australian thing. As the talk went on, multiple girls, including Courtney, began to feel uncomfortable and asked to leave the classroom to go to the bathroom. Yeah, I would have, I mean, at that age, we were like staging walkouts and stuff. So that would have been the time when we were like, yeah, I'm not sitting around and listening to how I'm supposed to be plowing animals. That's disgusting. We're all just sitting here like, what the hell? What are we doing here? Why are we learning about animals having sex with humans? She said, I was really disgusting. It was really disgusting. It was really uncomfortable. Thank you for saying the loud part out loud. <laughs> Amelia said many of those who asked to leave the classroom did not return. Yeah, you should have all left. You should pull out your phone and start recording and be like, I'm out of here. Bye. There's an internal review here being done at Renmark High School, it says right here. So an internal review is being conducted. All right. Well, that's good. Normal procedure not followed. Letters seen by the ABC that were sent to parents on behalf of Renmark High School principal Matt Evans stated that the presentation was meant to discuss respectful relationships. Well, okay. I mean, what does that involve, though? What are you getting at? Are you emphasizing any specific type of relationship? That would be my question. Like, is it just going to be all relationships? Because you have relationships with your family. They're different from relationships with your friends. They're different from relationships with your significant other. And then you have relationships with just random people on the street. Those are, I mean, you could call those relationships as people you run into on, on a daily basis or the people that you pass on the street. I mean, are you going to be nice to them? Really, you know, you just talk about being respectful of people in general, really, is what I would what I would want to know. Or are you talking specifically about interpersonal relationships? Are you talking about your significant other? And that might be a, a you know, a reasonable lecture to have, a reasonable presentation to provide for the children since they're like, they're like 14 years old. So they're getting into that age where they're going to start dating and stuff. The letter acknowledged that the school's normal procedure for notifying parents ahead of specific presentations was not followed. Mr. Evans said the third party presenter had been suspended from department schools while the department undertakes an investigation. Okay, that's kind of weird. We are undertaking an internal review to ensure that processes around such notifications and procedures with regard to third parties attending at our school are always met, he said. The ABC contacted the Department of Education, which provided a similar statement and said the presentation was being investigated. SA Education Department Chief Executive Martin Westwell said the presentation was unacceptable and shouldn't have happened. You think? <laughs> yes, you really think? <laughs> When I was um, probably a little bit younger than this, our rumors are going around. I think the kid was 14 when he supposedly did this. Dude is like, I'll pay you 10 bucks to bang that goat. Because, you know, I was north, northwestern Illinois, Illinois, Iowa. It's a lot of, a lot of uh, farm animals up there. And he's like, all right. So he jumped over the fence and did things that are unmentionable here in polite company. Speaking with the ABC radio at Delayed on Thursday, Professor Westwell said conversations about Health, societal norms, stereotypes, and sexuality were normal parts of the Australian curriculum, but the presentation at Renmark High School was not. The core idea that students should understand people's orientations and other orientations is, I think, really important. But the way the presenter went about it was unacceptable. Maybe, like, vet the presentation before you allow it in the school. Well, I mean... Why would you allow anybody to present anything to children unless you had taken a look at it? At least, you know, maybe a cursory glance going, oh, yeah, there's no mention of bestiality in here. Okay, we're good. I mean, that would be, like, probably the number one thing you want to avoid presenting to children. It's just none of that stuff. There should have been a teacher in the room when that occurred. There should have been parents of the children in the room, too. I mean, like I said, when I did sex ed, there were parents there. Not my parents. I don't know why my mother was never involved in it my father was working and my mother was like really active in the pta i don't know why she wasn't there but she wasn't there so but there wasn't and the principal has apologized for that they hadn't reviewed the content no you think there was a few things that went wrong and it ended up with this inappropriate language and a few things being discussed in that session that were just not appropriate 
support being provided to the students. Headspace's national head of clinical leadership, Nicole Palfrey, said the organization was aware of concerns raised by members of the Renmark community. We take all feedback very seriously and are reviewing how we can support and guide Headspace centers. To ensure presentations they facilitate or deliver are aligned with evidence and best practice and are safe and appropriate for young people, she said. Yeah, um, this stuff, I, you know, we, we knew that when, when I was a kid, when I was 14, we knew that were like, they were gay people. They were just called gay. That was the extent of it, really. Probably were uh, familiar with bi people, too, like or the idea of a bi, a bi person. who's like, so, like, gay and bi. And we knew there were transvestites. And we knew there were people who were, um, had, had, had had a sex change. That was the extent of it. Now the, there's this whole long initialism, all the letters, and it's just, they're going to add in like 50 other letters probably by the time 2040 hits. It's, it's just ridiculous. You can be all these different things, but it's all part of the, the woke agenda. They like switch people over to thinking that you can just be anything you want to be and it doesn't matter and you can just define yourself in this way. You want to all want to be part of this, this movement. You might take from that whatever you want to. You're just not a typical person. We are aware of concerns raised by local members of the Renmark community following a presentation delivered by a live experienced speaker that Headspace Barry facilitated at Renmark High School. You hire these people to do their job and they just want to spread their our own ideology. Our priority right now is to ensure that any young people and their families who may be experiencing distress receive the support they need. Following the presentation, a follow-up letter seen by the ABC was sent to parents offering counseling services from the education department, which had arranged a social worker to attend the school to help support affected students. I, that's probably a bit extreme. I don't think they need to. They just saw some words and heard some ideas. It's not that big of a deal. This person here is, uh, has been indoctrinated, assuming that this, the caption down here is correct. Christy Fife says the presentation her daughter, Amelia Wundenberg, attended did a huge disservice to the queer community. No, it didn't. It told us who they really are, what some of these people want to do to the future generation. They want them to, to be these weird hedonistic people. I don't understand it. Parents of students who attended the presentation said it was a poor representation of the queer community and had raised many concerns about the school's protocols for third-party presentations. Who vetted this material? Who made sure it was safe for 14- and 15-year-old girls? Some of them are still 13, Amelia's mother, Christy Five, said. It has done a huge disservice to the queer community. Following the presentation, Courtney's mother, Nikki Garland, removed her three children from Renmark High School. My kids are in limbo. They, they're they not in an education department at this point. I'm not putting them anywhere until I know this won't happen again. Under no circumstances should a child in that school ever feel trapped and unsafe without someone with their certificate, meaning a teacher. The ABC has spoken to five other parents whose children Attended the presentation, they substantiated the two girls' claims. Who is this person? Mel Brush and what? These are two different people? I guess they are. Okay. And Eleonora, whatever, are passionate about queer inclusive education. Oh, so they're evil? Okay, got it. LGBTQIA plus educators condemn slur sexuality educators and LGBTQIA plus inclusion advocates Mel Brush and Eleanor. That's all I'm going to call her. Conduct consent and queer inclusion training for schools, parents, and workplaces via their social enterprise. Let's talk about X. Both are secondary teachers, and uh, this Eleanor, Eleanor person here said queer education was important but should be delivered in a safe and appropriate setting. The teachers are the people that these young people have a relationship with, that they are familiar with, that they that they're comfortable with. Uh, when you're in a vulnerable situation like a respectful relationships workshop or seminar, there should be someone in the room that you are familiar with. Mel said the alleged use of the word bestiality in a presentation was damaging to the queer community. It's pretty shocking to think about that term being thrown around like that, especially given how loaded it is and for a historical context of the way that it's been used as a slur and to discriminate against LGBTQ plus people. And that's it. So yeah, um, be cautious when you're putting your kids in these public schools. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.